here today with Sydney Gibson and Sarah Aiken, and they are with the Jonesboro Business Professional Women. Thank you for being here with us today. Thanks for having us. Let's go ahead and get started. Can you tell us about your organization? Uh, the J Jonesboro uh, Business and Professional Women is a part of, um, of course, the overall countrywide business and professional women that started back in 1919. It was really part of the Women's Suffrage Act in Washington, D.C. Uh, Arkansas and Jonesboro became a member in 1929, just 10 years later. Um, we are active locally, regionally, and statewide. What are some of the activities you do locally? Locally, we meet every third Tuesday at noon. We have a program wherein we have someone from the community come and tell us about their organization or their business. Sometimes we even have our own members talk about their own business uh, or any anything that might be of interest uh, so that we can find out what's going on in the community. We also have a business meeting at that time. We discuss upcoming events. Uh, we support the Women's Crisis Center. We uh, usually get a, we, we have a newsletter that comes out prior to our meeting with a list of needs and we bring something to the meeting and we have a person who's designated to uh, take that to them. We also uh, try to give scholarships every year or do give scholarships every year to uh, women in the community who wish to further their education. Uh, and locally we just try to meet other women who are like-minded and uh, have a good time. And who qualifies for the scholarships that you mentioned? Working women, um, high school girls, Sarah correct me if I'm wrong. No, you're correct. High school girls that are in uh, FBLA, those are ideal candidates mm -hmm. for, for the scholarship. Uh, just women wishing to further their education. Just to clarify, do working mothers qualify for the scholarships? Well, we're always looking uh, both locally and statewide to assist any working mother who's trying to further her education, especially those that perhaps ha started their education and had to stop to raise their families, but they want to go back to school. On the state level of Arkansas, where there is specifically uh, two scholarships. One is directed for the undergraduate and then there's another one that's really for even masters and above education. Okay, do you need to be a member to take part in your organization? If so, how do you become a member? Well, it's good to be a member. You don't have to be a member to come to our uh, meetings which our meetings are posted on Facebook, uh, Jonesboro, BPW. Um, if you don't and you want to just come as a guest and see what we're all about, the lunch is $12. Um, but if you do decide to join, then there are dues, um, not very much, which Sarah can tell you a little bit more about the, that. Uh, the state dues annually are $20. Locally, they're $11. So for $31 in annual membership, you get a lot out of that for your money. Um, of course, plus the luncheon dues. Um, there's, there's rarely an organization that you can go to across the state, whatever, that you can get as much out of as you do with BPW for $31 annually. What activities do you think the members benefit from the most? Personally, I think that the friendships that you form um, just the networking that you gain from it. Uh, just through the years, Sarah and I have gotten to be close friends and I know she's someone I can call on if I need a favor. And We've even worked on projects with work um, in the past and so that to me is the biggest benefit, just being around other women with similar values. I had uh, lived here for about 18 years and then I moved away and when I came back 
none of my friends were still in my little group. And I wanted to get, even though I had a job, I wanted to get back and, and I've always volunteered. So I just happened to see a paragraph in the Jonesboro Sun and it said, BPW's monthly meeting is, call this number, and I did. And there's about 20 to 25 members on our roster right now. I, I would not know any of them, most likely, without uh, being a member of BPW. Uh, and that, that refers also on the regional level, going to the different meetings and projects some of them have around the area, as well as in the st on the state level. How do you fund all of your projects that you do? Through our dues and through fundraisers. Um, of course, we're a nonprofit, so donations are welcome. Uh, we have had uh, bake sales, candle sales, ad sales, just a variety of different types of fundraisers, and that's pretty much to fund the scholarship. If anyone is interested in donating or becoming a member, how do they do that? They can go to our Facebook page and post on our wall, or they can go, uh, they can send an email to jonesboroBPW at yahoo.com. Yeah, we would love to have new members. We're always looking for new members, and members kind of come and go. People move away. Um, you know, sometimes people get too busy, or, you know, so we. We change, you know, um, but then there are some who are constants that, uh, anyway, it's a wonderful way to, to make new friends and also um, to be a part of something worthwhile. Uh, in addition to the uh, scholarships and the uh, support of the Women's Crisis Center, we also recognize annually someone in the a woman in the community uh, called the Woman of the Year. We have a week in October that is National Business and Professional Women's Week where we do try to promote uh, the organization and we name a person, or a woman, <laughs> as Woman of the Year and recognize her for her achievements and for her contributions to the community. Well, it sounds like a really good organization and thank you for being with us today.